Hello and welcome to another video. Today I have this Deal Gadgets LED ceiling light. So this is about nine inches in diameter. I have an old fixture here. So you can see it has that gold rim, like a uh, spherical fixture. I want to modernize it with the LED fixture. It is on the staircase, so it is kind of a difficult spot, but, um, but we're going to make the best of it. So uh, I'm going to show you how to change an old light fixture for one of these newer ones. Looks like there's just a mount right here. This is gonna be two screws to hold the mount in place. And then this just twists on like so. So once the mount is on, you can put this on there and then you can just twist it clockwise seems like and it'll um, keep it in place. There's just the two wires to connect it. There's instruction manual here and some screws and things like that to mount it. I'm just gonna use the screws that are already on the old fixture. Um, there are some wire ties as well. Uh, but I'm sure the old one also has that. This one doesn't even have a ground, it seems like. So that's fine. Um, all right, so let's get that out of the way. As far as the light itself, this is what it looks like. It's pretty minimalistic. Um, it's uh, pretty bright, so let's go ahead and put it on and show you what it looks like. Uh, 6500K, that's the color temperature. You can get it in different color temperatures. Okay, so as you can see, the screws on the sides, you unscrew that to take the actual dome off once you have that off these screws on the side of the bolt here this one and that one you unscrew that until the gold part falls down once the gold um, base for the light fixture is off you can see the exposed wire there's a white one and a black one and you can see the um, metal the exposed metal wire which is the ground this one doesn't require a ground so they only have this much of the cable exposed, so I actually stripped it a little bit more and exposed more of it. Um, I think it makes it easier to attach the cables if you have a little bit more of the um, wire exposed. You can use wire strippers or a pair of scissors to cut off the plastic and then just kind of pull on it until it comes off, just like so. Okay, so once you have the wire exposed, you're going to use your wire ties to twist it on to the wire on the ceiling. Now that we have the old fixture off, you're going to make sure that this part with the ridge is on the bottom. And you're going to screw the uh, mount onto the fixture just like so. Uh, and you want to make sure that the wires are coming to the middle here. As you can see, the screws are loosely on with the mount and this is what it should look like. You're gonna center the mount, of course, uh, once the screws are tightened. Okay, so as you can see, the mount is secured and centered. Now that that's secured, we can attach those two wires to the wires uh, on the light fixture. So the white and the black cables are connected and I pushed it back into the mount just to kind of get it out of the way. And let's hit the switch. And as you can see, it's working. Before you put it back on the mount, you just want to make sure it's working. As you can see, it's lightening up my whole uh, staircase. So what you're going to do to put it back on is actually just put it flat like that. And you're going to turn it counterclockwise and snap it into the mount. So let me show you after it's done. All right, so the light is installed. This is the color temperature um, you can get, like I said, a yellowish one or a middle one or the white one. This is more of a white one because that's what I have in the basement. It matches the rest of the light. It looks pretty sleek. It's uh, pretty close to the ceiling itself. Um, nine inches, like I said. Super bright. Looks great. Easy to install. That's it for this video. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one.